Imagine a world where there is no more pain, no more sorrow, and no more separation from God. This is the glorious future that Revelation 21 verse 3 unveils for us. This verse is a profound declaration of God's ultimate plan to dwell among his people in the new creation. Let's delve into the depths of this promise and discover the hope and assurance it brings to our lives. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. This verse is situated in the final chapters of the book of Revelation, written by the Apostle John during his exile on the island of Patmos. The book of Revelation is a prophetic vision that reveals the ultimate victory of God over evil and the establishment of his eternal kingdom. Chapter 21 describes the new heaven and the new earth, where God will make everything new, and dwell with his people forever. A loud voice from the throne. This phrase signifies the importance and authority of the message being proclaimed. The throne represents God's sovereign rule, and the loud voice underscores the significance of the announcement. This is not just any voice, but a divine proclamation from the very seat of God's authority. God's dwelling place is now among the people. This is a statement of profound significance. It is the fulfillment of God's promise to dwell with his people, as prophesied in the Old Testament in passages like Leviticus 26 verses 11 to 12 and Ezekiel 37 verse 27. It signifies an intimate and permanent relationship between God and his people, where his presence will be with them directly and personally. He will dwell with them. The phrase, he will dwell with them, is derived from the Greek word skenosii, which means, to live among. This echoes the imagery of the tabernacle and later the temple, where God's presence was with his people. However, in this new creation, God's presence will be even more direct and personal. They will be his people. This part of the verse reaffirms the covenant relationship between God and his people. Throughout the Bible, God's desire has been to have a people who are his own, set apart for his purposes. This is the ultimate fulfillment of that desire. God himself will be with them and be their God. The final part of the verse emphasizes the personal presence of God with his people. It is not an angel or a representative, but God himself who will dwell with them, indicating the closeness and intimacy of the relationship. This verse offers us the hope of eternal communion with God. It assures us of a future reality where we will live in perfect communion with Him. Despite the trials and tribulations of this world, we can look forward to a glorious future where we will be in God's direct presence forever. This hope should give us strength and perseverance in our current struggles. The fulfillment of God's promise to dwell with His people reminds us of His faithfulness. God is a promise-keeping God, and this should strengthen our faith and trust in Him. We can rely on His promises and look forward to their ultimate fulfillment. Knowing that we will be God's people in the new creation should impact how we live today. We are called to live in a way that reflects our identity as God's chosen people, set apart for His glory. This means living lives of holiness, love, and obedience to God. This verse also invites us to seek a deeper relationship with God even now. Although the full realization of this promise is in the future, we can experience a foretaste of this intimacy through prayer, worship, and reading His Word. Let us draw near to God and cultivate a closer relationship with Him in our daily lives. Revelation 21 verse 3 is a powerful reminder of God's ultimate plan for humanity, to dwell with his people in a new creation where there is no more pain, sorrow, or separation. It calls us to live in hope and anticipation of this future reality, trusting in God's faithfulness and seeking a deeper relationship with him. As we meditate on this verse, let it inspire us to live as God's people, reflecting his love and glory in our daily lives. Amen.